Hello boys and girls, Miss Amy, petrol heads, gear heads, and engineering students in whatever field you got. Here is another five minute Grandpa Smitty Motorsports expl explanation class. All right, video number three, what are they made of? Poppet valve. What's the materials they're made of and why? Okay, this is basically it in a nutshell. You have at least two poppet valves, an inlet and an outlet valve, intaking exhaust on four-stroke engines. So, they both do the same job. They're both doors. However, they operate in different environments. For example, the intake valve runs much cooler than the exhaust valve. And why is that? And that is, it stays closed two-thirds of the time. It's open one-third of the time. And during the one-third of the time it's open, a fuel and air mixture, which is cool in proportion, flows past this in a very quick, violent, blasting stream into the cylinder, which cools and takes away the heat that's been baking into the face of this valve from the power stroke and the exhaust stroke. So, it's actively cooled one-third of the time, assuming a crankshaft duration, excuse me, camshaft duration of holding the thing open 240 degrees over 720, which is two revolutions, one complete set of four strokes. Okay, now, if we have a single profile uh, cam in the engine, that means we'll have the same number of degrees on the exhaust. However, the reciprocal happens over here. What do I mean by that? Very simply, where this one is blast cooled, this one is blast heated. One third of the time the exhaust valve opens and this brag dragon breath here goes screaming past this, heating the neck, the face, the valve, everything can glow this red hot and really high power applications. And so one third of the time, this thing is get blast heated. It only cools when it can shut and try to get rid of some heat before the next heating cycle comes around. So, we say the intake valve handles moderate temperature. What's moderate? Uh, below a thousand degrees. Let's say a thousand degrees upper. So, there are general, 98% of all valves are made out of steel. And they're made out of a very similar type of steel, and which has a chrome is added to these steels to um, raise their high temperature strength. So that turns them into da da stainless steel. Okay, so depending on the percentages and everything, so the uh, intake valves handling less temperature. It's more important that they have hardness in the steel mirror because the gasoline tends to wash away the lubrication and you want a nice slick super hard stem where over here you need to handle heat because this thing runs hot. I mean hot. How hot? Well, let's say that a radiator cap on a $500 car is not even in it because this darn thing is, oh, oh, man, burn my finger. It is hot. So here we go. This thing has to handle massive amounts of heat. So the grade of steel has to be high temperature steel. More expensive to make, harder the machine, and in higher performance applications like turbocharged motors, it may be that a stainless steel cannot handle this. You may have to start adding nickel and cobalt and other additives which jacks up the operating temperature this can operate at. But guess what? It jacks up the price. Now, I said 98% are steel. You, a small proportion are made out of titanium for race vehicles. Titanium is wonderful because it has high temperature strength and it's 40% lighter. Take 40% of the weight out of any component of the valve train and the valve train can operate at a safer, higher RPM, make more horsepower, da da da. What's the downside to titanium? It's not as tough as steel um, and it's expensive. So it's not as tough, won't last as long, so you wouldn't want titanium valves necessarily in a street engine. However, perfect for race engines which have short normal operating lives. But the cost is like 75, 80 bucks a valve. So on a V8, you could spend easily $1,200 on a set of valves. 
Da -da. So we only go to titanium, inconol, and exotic alloys when we're forced to. So that's basically it, ladies and gentlemen. You have a lower cost, tough, high wear resistant on the intake, have a very high temperature on the exhaust. Next video, number four, we're going to talk about the thermal management over here on this exhaust valve and just why that's so important. This is real deal, heavy, deep diving stuff on power production and, power and thermal management. So stay tuned.